Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. I thought I would try, actually I should probably hold this camera like this. I thought I would try to do a um, reading vlog and see how it goes. I quite enjoy watching them on uh, other people's channels and I thought maybe I could do like a reading vlog and then another video every week. Um, that way I can talk about the books that I'm reading without having to finish them um, because I'm tending to read a little bit slowly at the moment just because of how um, things in my life are going um, and just like the time I have to read and also like I'm having this issue where if I want to read a longer book I'm not going to be able to finish it in a week and then it's kind of putting me off wanting to read longer books but I want to read the longer ones um, anyway so I'm going to try this um, see how it goes uh, so it's Monday night now, um, like I've sort of had dinner and everything and I've made myself a hot chocolate um, and I'm going to sit down and read for a little bit. Um, so my current read is this, um, Frederick Longabell's new uh, biography of JFK. This is just volume one. I don't know when volume two is coming up, but um, I've had this for like a few months now and I want to like get on with it otherwise it's just I just buy books and don't read them so that's what I'm reading now it's about 600 pages long pages are quite big but the font isn't the smallest um so it's actually not that long of a book um and I'm about 75 or 80 pages in now so I'm gonna do a little bit of reading um probably half an hour or so and then I'll head to bed so I'll talk to you in the next clip so I'm just finishing up for the night. I read about 20 pages or so about uh, Jack's time at Choate School. Um, it could be a little bit better. I think there might be a little bit more colour added about the time, at his time at school. Um, I have enjoyed previously reading other books, particularly Walter Isaacson's uh, book about the, the six wise men. Um, the wise man, I think it's like about Avril Harriman and uh, Dean Atchison and those people at those schools. Um, like the, it was a really cool bit of the book. Um, I'm enjoying it though. So I'm going to wrap up for the night and I'll catch you tomorrow. All right. It's uh, Tuesday morning now. I've just had a cup of coffee. Um, I'm going to have some breakfast and read a little bit more of this. Um, when I get like another 10 pages or so done before I go to work and then I'll read a bunch more tonight. Um, so that's what I'm doing this morning. So I just got home from work. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more reading of the JFK book. I didn't get quite as much done this morning as I was hoping. Um, but I've got class in about 40 minutes. So I'm going to read until then and then, uh, go to class and then I'll read some more uh, later on. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Hey everyone, so it's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday morning now. Um, last night I was reading quite a bit of uh, the book. I got to the end of part one, so the next part is uh, wartime. So basically uh, I've got to basically JFK graduating college and right at the end of the part at the end of the last chapter it talks about uh, the time when JFK and Lem Billings went to uh, Europe on like a road trip. Uh, they went over there on a ship and took uh, JFK's car with them and they went on a road trip around Europe and this is in 1937 and they see various things and Longaval makes the argument that this is where JFK starts to really build his views on the world and they become more nuanced by the end of the trip. He goes through Mussolini's Italy, he goes through Hitler's Germany and forms his views on things like fascism uh, so that's where i'm at i'm really enjoying the book so far it's 
much simpler prose than I've read in other biographies of this size. Uh, what sticks out to me is like Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. Obviously Chernow is a, uh, a brilliant biographer and Alexander Hamilton I think is only 700-ish pages. I think it's between 700 and 800 pages in all. So this is going to be a much longer uh, biography uh, once, it's, once it's completed. I believe it's going to run into two volumes. Uh, it's going to be a much longer biography by the time it's completed. Uh, but it's partly an unfair comparison because the time period, like we've got much more evidence and sources on JFK than we would have on Hamilton. But even though this is longer, it doesn't feel like we're sorry it doesn't feel like we're stagnating at any point so really enjoying it so far um, i'm gonna read a little bit more now before going to work and i'll uh keep you updated bye so it's wednesday night now um i'm just gonna have a little bit of a uh, read um i have been reading for a little bit this afternoon as well it's a little bit frustrating um if I'm honest, because the book is about is spending a lot of time talking about Joseph Kennedy, uh, JFK's dad, uh, and like like I I've just read about about thirty pages on Joseph Kennedy, rather than on on Jack, um, and I, I've got a book on Joseph Kennedy, uh, so. I, I kind of don't know why it's spending so much time on him, but maybe it'll, it'll resolve itself eventually. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit more. Um, I've also been listening to um, Empire of Pain by... Oh, God, there's a guy with three names. Um, I'll mention it in another clip. Um, I've been listening to that on audiobook, but I want to get back into listening to more like journalistic books on um, Audible. So, uh, yeah, I started that today. I finished off Max Hastings, uh, what was the title? Uh, or Hell Let Loose, or it's called Inferno in some markets. I finished that off today. Um, so, yeah, getting quite a bit of reading done. Uh, so this has been a productive week so far. So I just read it, uh, sorry, read it. Finished reading about another 20 pages, if it's not a chapter, and we're still stuck on like general foreign policy history, basically. It's the history of how the, first, the Second World War starts, I'm sorry, um, and Joe Kennedy's uh, experience as ambassador to Britain as that was happening. And Jack Kennedy is just playing like a peripheral role at this point. Like granted, he's in Harvard at the time, but this is a biography of Jack Kennedy, so I don't know if it's lack of sources or if Logavell is kind of going to like bring us around somehow, but currently not very impressed with the way it's going. The first section was epic and now it's like losing focus a bit, I think, but we'll see how we go. Morning guys, um, I've got a bit of a problem going on here. Um, I read a little bit more last night uh, i didn't film anything though it's getting better uh, we're starting to focus on jack kennedy a little bit more now um it's still very focused on the war and geopolitical situation and all that stuff but it's probably unavoidable um just in terms of like it being defining of that, that time period and defining of how Jack Kennedy lived his life. So, I I don't know. Um, gonna read some more now, have a bit of a slower morning, then head to work. Um, and yeah, I'll catch up with you through the day. So I've just been having breakfast and a coffee um, and just browsing YouTube for a little bit. And I realized that Michael Lewis just released a new book on the pandemic. Um, looks like it came out last month or 
uh, in March, possibly. Um, he was on the New York uh, Review, New York Times re book review podcast, um, talking about it. It looks like the so I, I just listened to the section of the episode that he was on. Uh, looks like he the work came out of the fifth fifth risk that he did uh, in late 2019. Um, so I'm probably going to read that this weekend, uh, give JFK a break and just read that. Usually I can get through a Michael Lewis book in a day or so. So uh, I definitely want get, to get that done. I love Michael Lewis um, and it's generally a little bit, little bit lighter. So that's what the plan is for this weekend. Uh, you'll see that later on in this vlog. Um, so I'm going to finish my coffee and go and get to work. See ya. So, um, it's Thursday night now, and I'm actually not going to do any reading tonight. Um, I'm feeling pretty tired. I had a, like, high mental energy day at work. So, um, I have actually been listening to, uh, The Empire of Pain by Patrick... Oh, I, I always forget his name. Give me one second, I'm going to get the name. His name is Patrick Radden Keefe. Um... It's about the Sackler family and who own the company that make OxyContin, um, which is the opioid discourse and the opioid crisis in the US at the moment. Uh, it's just a fascinating book. It kind of starts in the 30s-ish um, and talks about the rise of the family, the art collection they do, how they got rich, um, all these sorts of things. And then it's gonna build up to the current opioid crisis, I believe. Um, it's reminiscent of books like uh, The House of Morgan, which I really liked. It's actually very similar in style to um, like Isaacson's writing, Walter Isaacson and uh, Ron Chernow as well. So I'm really, really enjoying it. I spent a couple of hours earlier just listening to it. I mean, I, I just got the audio book. Um, I'm just listening to it and I'm really like thoroughly enjoying it um and sometimes that's just what you gotta do like yeah I have this big chunky biography I'm reading but sometimes you just gotta uh read the easy book or listen to the easy book um especially when you're feeling tired like I am tonight so I'm gonna listen to it for a little bit longer tonight and then tomorrow we'll see where we land so I'm just uh, having a cup of coffee, it's Saturday morning, and then I'm going to read more of the JFK book. I'm going to try to knock off like 50 pages or something now, um, and then I've got some uh, essays to write, uh, which I'll probably spend most of the day doing, and then that gives me tomorrow just to chill and read. I do want to see if I can get to the Michael Lewis book this weekend. But with Empire of Pain, uh, which I'm listening to just while I drink my coffee, and uh, the JFK book, maybe I will push that to next week, which means it'll be in the next vlog. Uh, actually, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I'll read that for the next vlog. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish off my coffee, listen to Empire of Pain. Once I do that, then I'm going to read the JFK book. All right, see ya. Okay, it's a little bit later now. I've been reading for while I got through 50, 60 pages of the JFK book. Um, it's still doing that weird thing where it's, uh, the time it spends focusing on JFK is really in interesting. The time it spends talking about other things is less interesting. And it is about a 50-50 split. Um, it's spending less time talking about Joe Kennedy now, which is great. But it is spending a lot of time talking about the European political situation at the beginning of the Second World War, which is basically just drawing from like three or four different sources. Um, I checked the notes. He's basically drawing from Anthony Beaver, uh, the Second World War. He's drawing anything on Churchill seems to be coming from Andrew Roberts. Uh, biography of Churchill, which is a great biography, um, so there's no complaints there, but basically I think he's he's basically, um, the original research that he's doing is on JFK, but that's not all the book is, he's spending a lot of time talking about other things, which I think, 
I'm being more sympathetic to now because it's he's draw, drawing it in nicely to sh an examination of JFK's uh, changing foreign policy views during his time at Harvard, which is very interesting. Um, but I think it could be done by spending less time actually talking about the political situation, particularly around the Second World War, because it's a well-known topic. Um, and he could write it in, in basic fashion. And if somebody wanted to read more about it, for because for whatever reason they didn't know the information, they could go and do that uh, on their own time. And it would just make the book shorter and more succinct. Anyway, I've got an essay to write. Um, it's on digital history. I want to get uh, a first draft done today. If I can do that, then I'll spend the afternoon reading. So I'm going to go make a coffee and do that now. Okay, so yes, I'm in my Udi. Um It's really cold here. I've been reading a good chunk of today. I've got through about 120-ish pages. I'm enjoying the book, but it could have been 400 pages, I think is basically my uh -huh opinion so far. I mean, I'm not all the way through it yet. I'm like about halfway, just before halfway. Oh, sorry, just after halfway. But this could have been a much, much shorter book. Um, for a biography of JFK, it's just spending far too much time talking about other things. Um, and the notes indicate... I don't know, I, I, f I feel like he's, he, I can see what he's trying to do, but he doesn't need to do it. Um, he's trying to set up all of these different things around JFK and show how his foreign policy views change. So that's interesting, but it doesn't need 200 pages of explanation about Joseph Kennedy and the war and Winston Churchill. And like, it doesn't matter to our story. Um, it doesn't matter to JF a biography of JFK. That's my feeling at this point. We'll see if it gets better, but um, I, I've been saying that all week and it just hasn't uh, yet. It's got a little bit better, but not enough. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm having another coffee. I'm just watching the, the right stuff on Disney Plus um, just to take a break. So I'm just uh, sitting down on Sunday now, I'm sitting down to read some more of the book. Um, I actually haven't read anything since I last spoke to you, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, like my thoughts haven't changed uh, at all. So, I'm just going to read some more now. I was hoping I'd be able to knock it out this weekend, but it looks like it's going to take another week or so. Uh, but next vlog, I am going to definitely read uh, Michael Lewis's new book. So, this may take a little bit of a backseat while I just punch through that I'm sure it's only like 200 250 pages or something like that so uh yeah I'm just gonna read some more now um we're getting past like the political stuff in the second world war hopefully so hopefully we can start see more about Jack's politics uh as he becomes a senator and stuff like that um, the book does finish, I don't think I've mentioned this, the book, the book finishes when he makes the decision to run for president. So we're going to see his time as a senator in here. Um, and uh, should be interesting. Okay, so I just, uh, it's literally a few minutes after I last spoke to you. I just read about Rosemary's surgery. Um, the lobotomy that she had, just horrible. The fact that the family didn't know where she was or what had happened for years, that's a little bit grim. So, anyway, on we go.